Hello and welcome again. This is Hans Kuprot from CRC. This is our fifth installment in teaching you how to use our data set. Um, you remember that we were showing you how to extract data from our data set through going to analyze descriptive statistics and then either frequencies or, or cross tabs. Now the problem, as you recall, was that this is a lot of point and click and especially if we have lots of variables, we spend a lot of time actually looking for them. So it's a little cumbersome. But there's a much better way of actually extracting data, and that's through syntax. And we'll help you do that uh, so that you don't have to write complex, complex syntax yourself. The way we do this is that we um, first identify here in the data editor, and let me remind you again that it's useful if you go to F11 so that you can see the entire window including here down here this item variable view we identify the um, variable we want and we've done some exciting work here pre-election in Georgia in just at the end of 2007 and here we ask the question is the respondent willing to answer about his or her voting on election day now let's look across that's PE37. So I'm not going to um, analyze now. I'm going to open recently used files or I could go here and then find it here but I've just got it in the recently used files now. Syntax, frequencies, that's a file that I saved myself. And you can sort of save this file also. It's a very very simple syntax and remember we wanted PE37 so we just modify that and then we make sure that there's a period at the end that's the so-called command terminator so that the syntax so that SPSS knows that this is the end of what we want to tell it either go on run and all or just straight here the button and then we have the data output here straight away so no point and click there very 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 convenient <clears throat> Notice that we have a lot of people telling us that they are not prepared to tell us who they're going to vote for. Now we clearly would want to find out who they are and Syntax can help us with this as well. So let's go back here to the variable view and then we'll open a file that I've called Syntax to cross tabs with rows and columns then we already have here, let's just check what we have here, PE37, we actually have the right line in there. And then on the variable view, let's just go up and get two pieces of data here. Syntax 2, I'm opening this again. And now I find it very convenient to type it in. Let's relate that to trust in the president. That's PE4 underscore 9 and trust in the Central Election Commission. But we could also look at all sorts of other things like in this particular file on whether people are actually intending to vote or whether they've made up their mind but maybe just don't want to tell us who they're going to vote for. Same game. And here now we have something really quite complex and nice that we can get our teeth into for a more in-depth analysis with rows provided in all the directions. Sort of for the rows and the columns all well explained. Takes you a moment to figure it out, but overall really a fantastic analytical tool. Let me just go through that again very quickly to remind you. When we have a problem about trying to extract data, we have the option of going to analyze descriptive statistics and then choose frequency or cross tabs, or easier, especially if you want to get lots of output, to go on to frequencies and then do the following. For example, let me just show you here. If I want all the trust data, I just go and copy this. I just hit Control C. and paste that into the window here and then I'll press run 
either here or here, and I have all that output. So very, very fast, no need for a lot of point and click, and that's, that's how it works. I hope that put you on track for using our uh, data set um, thoroughly, and in the next installment we'll just show you a little more on weights and how to turn them on and off. But you already are almost there, and you should be able to really extract all the data that you're interested in right now without any further problem. Thanks for visiting us, and good luck in finding whatever you're looking for.